What's up, you guys? This is One Classic Gamer here, welcoming you to my brand new playthrough. And, um, yeah, this is what it's gonna be for. For any of you who are wondering what game I was going to play, uh, following up my Until Dawn playthrough, I was going to play some more PS5 games, but at this point in time, there's just so many great games that I've got on my Xbox, and I figured I would give the PS5 a bit of a rest and try this game out because I don't know much about this game other than the fact that this is a horror game sort of it's like a supernatural uh, paranormal type game um, involving the real world and the spirit world and that's that's pretty much all I know about this game I've seen very minimal uh, gameplay for it um, but the reason my reasoning for going out and buying this game, actually I didn't have to buy this game by the way, uh, because I have Game Pass, so I was able to download this game for free, but my reasoning for getting this game and deciding to cover this game next is, this is basically the, uh, the first big next-gen Xbox game to be released, and I figured, you know what, I haven't played a true next-generation game yet, so why not play this game? Again, like I said, I know very little about this game. I know Troy Baker's in it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say who he plays, but I know Troy Baker, Joel from The Last of Us, is in this game. Um, this is the first big uh, next-generation Xbox uh, exclusive. This is available on both the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S, which is what I'm playing it on right now. And it's also available on PC, but if you have a Series S or a Series X, you're basically, you're, you're covered because this game is free, basically. If you have Game Pass, this game is free. So I was able to download this game, and um, yeah, I'm just, I really don't know what else to say, man, other than that I'm super hyped to get into this. So um, yeah, I'm going to stop beating around the bush, and we're going to get going already on the medium. Let's go. Adjust our brightness a little bit. Wait, hold on a sec. Oh, wait, there we go. Um, I usually just knock it up a couple of notches, but not too much. All right, subtitles, we want those for sure. Text size, default. Text background, none. Speaker name, off. Speaker color, off. Text bold, all right, cool. And is there anything else that I missed here? Not that I know of. Um, all right, well, without further ado, let's get going on the medium. I've already said that. This is the second time I've said that, but I'm serious this time. Just start the fucking game, Bran. Jesus, you're already botching up this intro. Fuck. It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. A girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot.
It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh -huh. That wasn't the only part. <laughs> No wonder people used to think I was strange. <laughs> if they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Okay. Well, here we are. Then fix camera angles, though. What do we got here? October 19th. Or, October 1999. Jeez, man. I should not have fucking done this right now. <laughs> October, uh, second memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, third, funeral at 10 hundred, or 10 o'clock, four, ultrasound, seven, Our Lady of the Rosary, nine, biopsy, 10, send package to Marianne, 14, neurologist visit, 16th, funeral at 1230, 18th, ultrasound, 22nd, neurosurgeon visit, uh, 23rd, funeral at 9 o'clock, funeral at 11 o'clock, uh, 27th, pick up Marianne from train station, November uh, 1st, All Saints Day, 2nd, All Souls Day, and then 5 is the surgery. Hmm. It seems a little bit laggy. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm really close to my TV screen, but it doesn't look to me like it's lagging that much on the, the software, which is good. It could just be me trying to play this with a, uh, or trying to, like, s sit so close to my screen. Shit. Really? Yeah. Nice to see you, too. Really? With the cat? You're trying to get me with the cat this early? What do we got here? Funeral home key. Uh. Okay. The uh, vibration on the controller Looks is pretty intense. Nourishing. In this, so far. What is this, cat food? Do I have it in my inventory now? I do. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Oh, kitty! And we got an achievement for that. Famished feline. Um, all right, let's see. <coughs> Symbolic funeral of the Sierra Mine. Miners from the Sierra Mine come to work today, as usual, but instead of flashlights and pickaxes, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles, a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, say members of the Sierra Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they add. The miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. 
they refused to accept that the Sears of mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continued to protest outside of the company headquarters in uh, Taiki, building a symbolic wall in the, in the entrance. I hope I pronounced that the right way. Each day, they add another layer of bricks. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War world. Earlier today, U.S. President Bill Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address, um, address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The president commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe, while also outlining the challenge that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasized the fact that his country's leadership and involvement have been critical to Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's version or vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary, and the Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their further contrib contribution to the security and stability of Europe. Ah, uh, jeez. Okay. I'm really digging the, the fixed camera angles. I can't believe it's all still here. Holy crap. We're in a dark room. Huh. I guess Photo I forgot paper. about this one. I can do it now. Okay. What's this? Oh, I hold on a sec. Okay, so if I remember correctly, you gotta put the photo paper there first. <laughs> Cause I actually How many seconds do you do this for? I forgot. Oh, I missed my window. Now it's overexposed. Ah, fuck. Okay, hold on a sec. Um, I illuminate photo for five seconds, dip in the multigrade for three seconds, uh, dip in stop for three seconds, dip in fixer for three seconds. See, I had a black and white photography class, but it was um, about a year ago, so I don't remember that much of lab because COVID happened and I didn't really get to play that much in lab, but here we go. Let's do this again. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Ah, that's too quick. It needs longer exposure. Are you fucking serious? Ah, that's too quick. It needs longer exposure. <clears throat> There we go. So you said put it in here for three seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Too soon. It needs to stay in longer. Are you kidding me? I think I know more about this than you, game. Jesus. Multi-grade photo. All right, cool. All right, and another three seconds. One thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Water bathe photo. So now it's starting to come out. The detail. One thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. What was the last photo I took of you, Jack? Shit. Damn. So uh, my girl's a photographer. I see. Look at our, like, just dark, depressing apartment. <laughs> uh, oh, this is the bathroom. Interesting. 1984. It's strange how you inspect items like in Resident Evil. <laughs> Tie clip. Pull yourself together, Marianne. Okay, so that's her name, Marianne. Well, no shit. Oh, she's got Jack's multiple room. cats. It's like he never. Damn it. Oh, 
Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Okay. I like all this, man. It's really adding to the story. Can we pet the kitty? Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's gonna feed you now? Uh, no one. I used to think I'd never fit in. But Jack... He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. That's a little creepy, not gonna lie. Alright, let's go this way. I have a feeling we're about to see some fucking scary ass shit pretty soon. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah. I used to have a thing for them. Don't know why, really. I guess they just used to make me happy. Jack knew it well. That's why there's so many of them here. Yeah, you used to love butterflies until you found out about the butterfly effect. Ah, I'm just kidding. No, that was a horrible fucking reference. Oh my god, dude. I need to shut the fuck up. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Spirits. There was a time I'd try to run from them. To ignore their calls. Matthew was the first one I helped pass on. Okay. Just taking a drink of something there. Sorry, y'all. So what exactly are we doing in here? Wait a minute. What is this? I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you attend, you to attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it was Marianne's way of consoling her fellow student but we're sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate, to say the least. Given that this is uh, not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about, we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about Marianne's future in our school. Sincerely, Principal of Primary School Number uh, 7, Zofia Kenia. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, Pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Alright, sorry about that. My phone was fucking ringing. Uh, ICU admission card. General information. First name Marianne. Last name blank. Age, three years old. Sex, female. Initial diagnosis. Second degree thermal burns. Covering 35% of... Total body surface area, trunk and upper limbs area, suspend or suspected inhalation injury, care management and stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support initiated, fluid resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. All right. The lag is a little bit uh, distracting. I hope it doesn't lag too much in the final uh, Jack's tie video. Clip. I need to find it. Jack's tie clip. All right, where is it? Is 
Is it somewhere else? Oh my god, I'm already getting lost. <clears throat> this is unbelievable. Is this it? Come on, Jack. Where'd you put it? Okay. Let's do this the other way. Activate insight. Holy shit. Okay. I've been walking around for like five minutes looking for this thing. Jack's tie clip. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Get to the funeral home. All right. Let's do it. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. Hmm. Anything over here? No? Look at this game, man. This game is beautiful. Man, that camera angle, though. That was an epic angle. Anything here? No? Okay. What is that, like the crappy elevator? Jack taught me to accept my condition. Of all my foster parents, he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse. Dude, my, uh, my controller is vibrating right now. Alright, activate insight. Anything around here I can look at? I feel like I'm just looking into this way too much. Alright, insight. Show me something. The last goodbye funeral home. Oh. <laughs> it just says the same thing. Durr. Inner investigator. Jack's in the prep room. Hmm. Oh, weird. I don't remember locking it. The key should be in the office. Where are uh, the keys? Here they are. Prep room key. Uh, record of funeral, name of deceased, Adam Nowick. Family contact, 322-02999. General information, sex, uh, male, date of birth, February 5th, 1976. Birthplace, Krakow. Name of mother, Hannah. Name of father, Stanislaw. Occupation, university student. Married. Date of death, September 10th, 1999. Cause of death, car accident. 
additional services embalming, dressing body, uh, flowers. Jack, Mrs. No- Nowak brought funeral paper uh, payment confirmation today. It's in the cabinet. Also, Robert took Friday off, so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral. Marianne. Okay. see what are you hiding in here oh wait hold on there's a walkway down here it was a little obscured what the fuck man I don't like this sure if I'm ready for this. Damn, bro. This is reminding me of, like, fucking Haunting of Hill House. You know, there was that one sister who, who did this, who, like, had to, like, embalm her own sister. Alright, um... Okay, here we go. Let's just rip the band-aid off. Hey, Jack. Damn, this is depressing. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Nazi. You wouldn't have it any other way. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. I guess you're ready. But am I? people read the signs that's closed <gasps> what the hell man holy fuck bro what happened to the lights? Don't do this to me right now, fools! <gasps> what the fuck? I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready to be scared, y'all. So what are we doing? Following the ghosts? You felt it too, huh? And then it happened. 
as it did so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. Oh, where is that star notebook? I'm gonna be late. Marianne? Oh, oh. Marianne, are, are you... are you crying, my child? Uh, I... It, it's fine, Jack. Now, now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. So much for aging gracefully, eh? Jack, you should probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... you are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> oh, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Is that Jack? It's okay, Jack. It's okay. My sweet little Marianne. <laughs> what would I ever do without you? <laughs> Jack. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's time to get some rest. Oh, mm -hmm. Marianne. Yeah? No. Oh, I, I, I'm worried about the surgery. When I'm at the hospital, are, are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes, Jack. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, you, you know, uh, I promised myself once uh, I would never let anything happen to you. Not while I'm around. I'll be fine. I promise. Uh. <laughs> Stuff, then. Huh? All right? All right, Jack. Now, get some uh, rest. I, I need, oh, yes, yes. Be, be good, Marianne. I love you, my child. I've loved you since the moment you walked into my life. Remember that. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But, no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look, if this is a joke... Uh... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? I don't even know you. It 
all starts with a dead girl. What did you say? The Neva Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit.